Hi, I'm Addison and I'm an engineering student with the sole mission to stop us from being lazy and kind of be more purposeful, more for, live a more fulfilled, happy life. And today, we will be discussing the different strategies I'll be using to break free from my social media addiction. The first strategy I'll be using is to delete all the social media apps on my phone. And yes, my friend might be a bit worried about me, you know, uh, they love me. So I will be using the Instagram web version. And you might be thinking, Addison, that's cheating, right? That, that, that's, that's cheating because there's Instagram reels on that. But don't worry, okay? If you've ever used the web version, it sucks ass, okay? It, it's horrible. So there's no need to worry. That way, I can cut the source of my addiction as much as I can. And because I am so serious about this addiction, we can look at the National Institution of Drug Abuse website on how to treat addiction. Obviously, all right, social media isn't comparable to drugs, okay? It isn't. But if you looked at my screen time, if you look at my screen time, okay, it's pretty bad, all right? That's why I'm, we need to take this very seriously. Anyways, the NIH teaches us that contact with drug, social media in our case, are the most common triggers for a relapse. So we need to interfere with these triggers to help patients stay in recovery. But if you have tried cutting social media off before, you usually just end up you know, replacing it with something else, like watching a movie, watching YouTube on your laptop, where you can't really delete Google Chrome. So here's my strategy for that. Step two, making work more enjoyable. By making the work more enjoyable, right? It'll, it'll, it'll trick my brain or something to put a more positive connotation to like studying or work. Like, for example, ever since I started engineering this year, I'm a first year by the way, there's been lots of maths and physics. Like, as much as I have a passion for some of the stuff, it gets very, very boring. But ever since I made studying and other work, like, I don't know, just editing and like YouTube stuff, more enjoyable, I would study for hours and hours and not get tired. My brain would forget about social media. And that's the key, not getting tired and feeling like time just flies by. And here are my steps to make work or hard work in general, more enjoyable, like studying, more fun, backed up by science. But if you could care less, all right, you're more than welcome to just skip to this time set. The number one, all right, the number one strategy is music. Get yourself in the mood, you know, start dancing around. Start like karaoke a bit as well, you know what I mean? Step two, to make work more enjoyable is the king of study strategies. The king of all kings, all right, Pomodoro Technique. Now, okay, when I first listened to it, I'm like, what's the point of this, all right? It's kind of stupid, but listen, okay? I've never realized how OP it was until engineering, all right? Until I started falling asleep during classes, until I started doing maths where there's more letters than numbers, okay? I really needed to start locking in and Pomodoro Technique reached out and saved my life, okay? Between every 25 minutes, right? The strategy is you, you rest five minutes and after like two hours, you do a 15 minute break. What do these breaks do? Well, according to MedEd University, the breaks help you avoid burnout, right? It helps you avoid this mental overload. That's how strong Pomodoro technique. It can help you study for hours without feeling like you need to take a break. And this will make your work much more appealing. So next time your brain will understand that, okay, studying is not that deep anymore, all right? I can actually go hours and hours on an end. You won't be tired and you won't be demotivated. And you know what's cool? you'll naturally forget about social media because you're so focused in the flow state. Anyways, back to my last thing that I'm doing to break free out of my social media prison is to kind of change my mindset. Realize that it was never social media. If you clicked on this video, right, you saw that I said, I want to break out of social media. Realistically, I'm just demotivated. I should really like actually change my title, YouTube title to I'm just demotivated. I want to break out of my demotivation. That's the truth, right? It doesn't take a genius, but it took me a, like a while to realize that creating reels wasn't the issue. I mean, reels sometimes have good content. Now it tells me about different Christianity quotes, tells me something about, I don't know, how to conversational skills. I don't know, something random, right? But it's not really that bad as a whole. The issue was I was just demotivated and I just happened to use social media, right? Genuinely. The days where my screen time for Instagram Reels was like at an all time high was the days where I would sleep in and then like wake up in the late afternoon. Those were the days where I felt the most demotivated and also coincidentally when my social media was at an all time high. So the biggest thing I'm going to do to stop my social media addiction is to be healthy. I don't know what that was, but to go to a gym on a regular, 
I set bedtimes, literally work on my health. Health is wealth. The more healthy you are, the more motivated you will be, right? If you came into this video, right, say, also thinking that your energy is at all time low, like, oh my God, how do you know that? Well, your energy is at all time low is because maybe you are not healthy. You may look like you are. Uh, I'm, uh, this is not a diss at you, by the way. So I'm, just, I'm just telling you, right? You are not healthy. Your lifestyle says otherwise, right? You may look like it, but your house lifestyle says otherwise, okay? Which is why the past couple of days, even weeks, I have been noticing my social media screen time decreasing, right? Decreasing because I've been starting to work on my health. So you should start implementing and looking ways to improve your health. That will solve motivation issues. This is social media issues. And if you think I'm ca- if you think I'm bullshitting, right? If you think I'm lying, this is my screen time. Like it's been looking quite immaculate lately. All right. So these are the different steps I'm doing to quit my social media addiction. I honestly hope you learned so like you learned a little thing from this video because that would make my day. But anyways, that's all, guys. Thank you.